hey wonderful beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we will be making a beautiful photo frame so just keep on watching we're starting with this piece of cardboard and we're going to be drawing our photo frame for the outer frame i went in with length of 20 and a half centimeters and width 16 and a half centimeters for the inner frame i went in with length 17 centimeters and 12 centimeters width after you have successfully drawn your frame go ahead with your cutter knife or your scissors and remove your cardboard i started with the inner frame and i just went in and cut that out and then i went ahead and cut out the outer frame now you're going to go ahead and cut out two pieces of cardboard measuring the length of your outer frame and you're going to go in with your glue gun and secure these to the side of your frame and what we're making here is the section to insert our photograph after you have completely secured those down go in with another small piece of cardboard to go in the center between those two pieces that you have just glued down please note that you're only going to be adding this small piece of cardboard to either the bottom or the top section now we're going to go in with this beautiful wrapping paper that i have and i'm going to be using my white glue to secure my cardboard down to my wrapping paper I'm going to be going in with my paintbrush and this is just to smooth my glue out so that my wrapping is not bubbly. Just go ahead and add some glue going all the way around your cardboard and secure it down to your paper. Now going in with my scissors and I'm just cutting off the excess wrapping paper. I'm also going into the center of my frame and I'm just cutting some small triangles going all the way around. This is just to ensure that my frame is wrapped neatly. Then just go in with your glue and your paintbrush. Again using the paintbrush is completely optional. And then just go ahead and secure your paper down to your cardboard. Then I'm going to go ahead with my scissors and remove some of my paper. Again, this is just to make my wrapping a bit neater. You do not have to do this. Just go ahead and wrap your frame however you can, as neatly as you can. After you have completed wrapping your frame, just go in with another piece of cardboard. And this cardboard should be the length and width of your entire frame. And this is going to be the back section. Then just go ahead again and use your glue and secure your cardboard to a piece of wrapping paper. Just go ahead and wrap your cardboard. Then just go in with a regular printing sheet and measure out your cardboard. Go ahead and cut that out and secure that to the top section of your cardboard. This step is completely optional. You could just go ahead and leave your frame as is. However, I went in with another color printing paper and added that to the top of my Base. Now that we are done wrapping, I'm just going to go ahead and start decorating my photo frame. I'm going in with this beautiful pink ribbon and I'm just adding that to the inner and outer frame. Now go ahead and use whatever you have to design and decorate your frame. However, if you did use wrapping paper as I did, you may not need to decorate your frame, but that's totally up to you. Now we're going to go in with our glue gun and we're going to start securing our frame together. Just go ahead and glue both pieces of cardboard together. Try to get your cardboard as even as possible and just go ahead and press tightly just to secure your pieces down together. Go in with a piece of cardboard I went in with 20 centimeters length and 2 centimeters width and I wrapped that with some wrapping paper. Then I went in with my ruler and I measured 7 centimeters from both ends and I'm just going to be folding those inwards. Then just go in with your glue gun and secure that together at the top section. If you want your frame to be horizontal, just go ahead and turn it sideways and add your holder. Place your frame flat down and secure your holder to the back section. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Also, go ahead and share with your friends and family. Hold a minute. Have you subscribed yet? Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching my video and keep watching for more awesome videos. Bye!